It is now my distinct pleasure and a high honor to present our commencement speaker. Ms. Lisa Lutoff Perla was the president and CEO of Celebrity Cruises, a position she's held since December 2014. Lisa oversees a fleet of 13 ships that sail to over 300 global ports on seven continents, with each ship's crew representing over 60 diverse nationalities and cultures. Four more cruise ships are in order, each one with groundbreaking innovation through technology across the celebrity fleet. Lisa brings both bold vision and focus strategy to her already dynamic and transformational leadership. As the head of Royal Caribbean Cruises Global Maritime Organization, she is further responsible for that corporation's $27 billion fleet of 51 ships, making sure they run safely, smoothly, and efficiently for over 6 million guests per year. Word has it she makes it look easy. An avid champion for diversity, inclusion, STEM education, and creating opportunities for women in the workforce, Lisa is driving significant change in the maritime profession. Positive change. Hiring Cal Maritime alumna Kate McHugh as the first female American cruise line captain, clear demonstration. Lisa's commitment to advancing gender equality in the maritime industry is a point of pride for all of us. She enthusiastically lends her leadership to many regional philanthropic and women's organizations and has been honored with numerous awards for her contributions to strengthening our maritime industry. Please join me in extending a very warm Cal Maritime welcome to President and CEO of Celebrity Cruises, Lisa Lutoff Perlo. Hello, everyone. I wish you had this view. It's pretty amazing. So good afternoon and thank you. Chancellor, President, Provost, faculty, alumni, family, friends, and the graduates of the class of 2019 it is my pleasure to be here. Congratulations to all of you. You know, it's really a historic day, so it's really a special, special time for me to be here. It's a day of firsts. You know, you're celebrating the 90th anniversary of Cal Maritime Academy. This is the largest graduating class ever of over 290 students. And interestingly enough, I was here three years ago and I spoke at the Women on the Water Conference. So it's really wonderful to be back here three years later doing the commencement address with the highest percentage of women graduating from Cal Maritime Academy. Congratulations. It's also historic because we think I'm the first woman ever to give the commencement address here in 90 years. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I will tell you today, I feel the same way I did a little over four years ago when I found out I was gonna be the first president and CEO appointed not only in our company, but in the industry. I remember thinking, okay, I'm the first, but I can't be the last, so I can't mess this up. <laughs> so in thinking about my comments today, I thought it only appropriate to start with that theme, a theme of firsts. Many of you in the graduating class are experiencing firsts. You might be the first in your family to go to college. You might be the first getting your master's degree. And you might be the first going into the maritime industry. And as you begin your career in the next chapter, you might be the first to achieve something no one else at Cal Maritime has achieved. I was Googling notable 
Cal Maritime alumni, just to see who's out there in the universe. And I came upon Jamila Reinhardt. Now, Jamila is a recent grad from Cal Maritime, and she's a lieutenant in the US Navy. That's not a first, right? But in 2017, Jamila was selected for the US World Cup rugby team. And I guarantee you that's a first. Yeah, go Jamila, right? So I thought that was pretty impressive until I read a little further and I found out that while I was on two of our ships celebrating International Women's Day on March 8th with our crew and our guests, um, celebrating the advancement of all the advancements women have made, Jamila was celebrating and showing the strength of women by bench pressing 455 pounds. So, <laughs> Jamila, respect. I have so much respect. Or you might be like Cal Maritime Academy's first billionaire. Uh, yeah, I found out last night at dinner from President Cropper that there is the first Cal Maritime uh, billionaire. And I couldn't help but think to myself, wow, I wonder how that happened. And then President Cropper told me that he lives in Seattle. And the reason he's a billionaire is because he had tremendous foresight and vision. He's obviously very smart because he graduated from Cal Maritime, right? Um, and he's invested in the cannabis business. So, there you go. So, I'm not advocating that. I mean, it's like, it's a big business, but listen, I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive. So you might invent something, <laughs> and hopefully you might change the world in some small, positive way. But one thing I will tell you about being first, and many of you probably already know this, it takes courage. Courage to step up, speak out, lead, raise your hand. Being first means stepping out of your comfort zone, taking risks, and believing in yourself when sometimes no one else does. I've experienced a lot of firsts in my career. I was the first head of hotel operations in 2005. I was the first head of marine and hotel operations in 2012. I was the first president and CEO in 2014. And I was the first to head a global marine organization in our industry in 2016. All of these firsts were based solely on the fact that I'm a woman. None of them have been easy. Most of them have been pretty scary, but I wouldn't trade any of them. And I will say to you what I said to myself each and every time, go for it. Don't ever let anyone tell you you can't. Prove the naysayers wrong, work hard, and stay humble. I couldn't think of a more appropriate way to close out my comments about firsts than by introducing and asking her to please stand up another first alumni of Cal Maritime Academy, Captain Kate McHugh. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you've heard of Kate, perhaps you even know Kate. Um, She's the first American captain of a cruise ship. She's also the first woman to ever take command of a celebrity cruise ship. She will be the first woman to be the captain of our brand new, highly acclaimed Celebrity Edge. Kate's a rock star. If you Google notable Cal Maritime alumni, Kate comes up as number one. Our crew loves her, our guests love her, we love her, the media loves her, and I can tell by the reaction she gets every time she comes back to her alumni, you all love her. She's a stunning example of being a first. She's bucked the status quo, she's living her dream, she's making a difference, she's a beacon that says you can be anything you wanna be, and she brings others along with her. 
Appointing Kate as the captain in 2015 was a catalyst for celebrity to begin our commitment to gender equality. On our bridges, we have gone from 3% women to over 20% women. All of this leads me to my thought number two for today. Kate and I are both living our dream. Kate had a plan. At 12 years old, she took her first cruise with her family, and she loved it. She fell in love with cruising. So she decided she wanted to grow up and be a cruise director. And she shared that ambition with her dad. And I will be forever grateful to her dad because he told her, Kate, you can do anything you want, including driving the thing. And so she made her decision. She had her plan. She worked her plan and driving the thing she is. She's living her dream. Now my story, on the other hand, is completely different. I left college not really knowing what I wanted to do. I was an accounting major. There was only one thing I knew. I knew I didn't want to be an accountant. <laughs> no offense to any accountants in the room. It just wasn't me. So I floundered a little bit. I changed jobs frequently. I came into this industry 34 years ago by accident. Four years into my job with this company, I finally had a plan. I thought it was a great plan until someone pulled the rug out from under me and decided I should take a different path. So I remember thinking, now what? There are three things I learned from that first experience. Plans don't always work out, but you can't get derailed. You have to step back five yards and punt. Sometimes a new plan is better than your first plan. So don't pressure yourselves. Be flexible, be agile, and try new things. The education that you have received at Cal Maritime Academy is invaluable. It has laid the foundation for everything that will come next. It's prepared you for your lifelong journey. The road, however, is often not straight. You'll come upon, upon forks, you should take them. You might find a turn in the road, embrace that, because it may lead you somewhere you never thought you could go, like me. Kate always knew she wanted to be a captain. I never dreamed I'd be a CEO. Both are okay. Which leads me to thought number three. As you navigate, sorry, had to use a pun. Um, as you navigate your journey, you are going to undoubtedly be leading. You'll be leading people, you'll be leading yourselves, you'll be leading your children. It doesn't matter, we're all leaders. With leadership comes great responsibility, being a leader has little to do with education or competence. I have seen the smartest, most competent people be the worst leaders ever. Being a leader means being someone others want to follow. Embrace a set of values that will set you apart. Lead with your heart, not just your head. Inspire others to be better and do better. Walk the talk, find a way or make a way, Build a great team, make sure they play as one, always do the right thing, and one of my favorites, pay it forward. Two stats that I learned about Cal Maritime Academy that I thought I might share with you, just in case you hadn't heard them, is that Cal Maritime Academy is the number one college for raising students from the bottom 20% of family income to the top 20% according to Equality of Opportunity Project. Cal Maritime is also number 20 on the Forbes list of the top public colleges based on alumni earnings. Not bad, huh? You have a bright future ahead of you. Both those statistics, ladies and gentlemen, prove that you're going to do well. But as you're accomplishing great things and doing well, always remember to bring others along with you. There's no greater joy than helping others achieve their dreams. I'll never forget the day I received an email from Captain Kate, and when I opened it, it said, how can I ever thank you for making my dreams come true? It is our obligation, it's our responsibility, and it's our opportunity. 
and part of paying it forward is giving it back, helping those in need of being lifted up, practicing selflessness, and living your life in gratitude, championing diversity and inclusion and equality. I applaud President Cropper for appointing Dr. Ingrid Williams as the first Chief Diversity Officer at Cal Maritime. You have the most diverse student population of any Maritime Academy. Congratulations. I've read and I'm so impressed by your Cal Maritime statement on respecting, defending, and promoting diversity. I work in a very diverse industry. As President Cropper said, there are over 70 countries represented in our ships. They come on the ships as strangers and they quickly become family and they take care of each other and they take care of our guests. I believe the world can learn a lot from the cruise industry. So always remember the mantra I try to live by every day. Life is a boomerang and what you put out there is going to come back straight at you. So in closing, it's been such an honor to be here with all of you today. College campuses are actually my favorite place to, places to spend time. They're full of young people, smart people, people full of optimism, just beginning. You give me energy and you give me hope and some days things can get a little hopeless. You're our future. Today is the first day of your beginning. And believe it or not, you just finished the easy part. <laughs> I know. You don't believe me right now, but you'll believe me. When I come back next time, you'll tell me I was right. Find your passion, live your dream, uncover your North Star, and please, please, please make the world a better place along your way, along the way, because we need you now more than ever. Godspeed. Congratulations, class of 2019. We're hiring, and thank you.